Some of you guys are sitting around bored at home and you don't know what to do with your time. And so I thought I would show you some of the things that I have been doing and it benefits other people. Um, I've been doing some craft and I was um, reached by a lady who works with Operation Christmas Child and I never thought about doing anything um, homemade or crafty for Operation Christmas Child because I always just um, thought of soap and combs and brushes and, and things like that and um, this lovely lady contacted me and asked me if I was interested in helping and I thought oh my goodness if it's something I can craft you <laughs> darn tootin I'm interested so I thought you know a lot of people are staying at home they don't have things to do um, let me show them some things that they can do for a little money that are beneficial to other people so I thought I would show you some of the things that I'm doing to I think I'm going to call it crafting with the cause. I have, I like to crochet. So here's some little crochet flowers that I made. And then I just glued barrette backs on the back of them. And you can, um, it's for the little girls. They can put those in their hair. But you can also do like a yo-yo. Um, Remember all the yo-yos we used to make? Put a button on them and then put two or three of them on a headband. And you can buy these headbands at Dollar Tree. Um, this is what a package of the black ones look like and they're 12 in a package for a dollar. And they're, they're not the real thick ones, but they work. So, some other things that we're doing is my mom and I are, oh, here's a couple other little ones I've made. And these, I don't know if these will go on hair bands or purses, but mom and I are making these little purses for little girls. And we did some with just different flowers on them and then I found my um, flower loom and so I started looming some flowers for them for the little purses but see that's just a simple little crocheted purse and then you can you can make them this little purse and, and the lady showed me this idea of making the handle see how you just put the little hole in there and then crochet a loop and then fit the handle through there isn't that adorable <laughs> so then you got to have something to put inside so you can put a hair bow or something on the inside or a bracelet or whatever but these are some of the ones that mom and I have made I made the flowers, but some of these little ones mom's crocheted. So just cute as can be. And there's not a regulation on size or anything like that. You got little, little bitty girls, a little bit bigger girls, but aren't those adorable? I just love the bright colors. So last year, the reason the lady was um, got a hold of me was last year I donated I think she said 150 soap sacks and so then I also make the soap sacks you just put a bar of soap in here and then this acts as a washcloth as well as a place to hold your soap and I did it the same way with the little handle like this and I made these um, so that they could put them on their wrist like when they're rinsing off and they don't if they're washing in a um on a piece of ground or or wherever if they're in the river or wherever they're washing sometimes you have to stand in the mud and pour water over yourself and there's no place to lay your soap down this is nice because 
there's your soap and your washcloth and you don't have to try to hold on to that while you're rinsing off anyway those are some things that you can do and you just put them in your operation chip Christmas child packages and you can also do if you are like me and you're prolific you can also donate to the operation Christmas child um, in your locality and they will um, distribute them in the boxes so don't wait till October or November to uh, think about operation Christmas child if you're crafty and you need something to do that's a perfect thing to do. Thanks for watching. Bye.